Hello there and welcome back to another video. Now earlier this year we got the series 25 of the LEGO CMF so I did a video creating different customs from the minifigures. For today's video I've chosen my favourite custom minifigure for each of the 12 CMF minifigures from season 25 which I recently reviewed and we unboxed. There is a way you can get your specific ones without having to tear the box open so definitely give that video a watch if you haven't already and I think we'll get straight into it and take a look at our first custom and as you can see for the first minifigure we have the esports gamer that simply had the face and hair piece switched out this actually a minifigures head from alien conquest I think it was and we are going to be using the torso and legs later to try and keep these customs to be as efficient as possible obviously if you wanted to create this specific minifigure you could just buy the minifigure and keep the torso and legs for the last minifigure in fact but the keyboard and mouse have been added to this little desk display i have created displays for every third minifigure the first the fourth the seventh and the tenth minifigure all have displays to just add to the custom minifigure and I've also got the trophy on the desk, perhaps they've just won a competition and this monitor build is real sleek, it's just a 1x2 jumper tile with one of them comlinks on and this very very thin, well I guess it's a thin monitor which sort of makes sense because technology has definitely advanced a lot further than having brick sized TVs but I think it's a really cool display, of course you've got the spinny chair so that the gamer can spin and still got that vita rush sponsor on the back so it's really neat and that is our first custom out of the way now our second custom is using the warrior from this cmf series and i've done my best to recreate kratos from god of war you can see i'm using that ninjago headpiece with that cut over the eye and even giving him a little cape of sorts the rest of the minifigure lines up pretty well so if you're a fan of Game of War and want a really easy custom minifigure to add to a potential Lego mock, this is definitely a good one as you only really need to buy the head and either some cape piece or there are a few of our neck accessories that would go really well replicating the design on the minifigure's torso. But I really like how the, I believe this is the Red Ninja, I think his name is Jay, I really am not too sure with the Ninjago minifigures as I'm not too keen on collecting them and it's been a while since I picked up any of the sets but I really like that cut on the eye. It's not exactly a common trait across minifigures so if you have any characters that are similar to this I definitely recommend giving this head a look. Now the third one is one of my favourites from this custom wave and that is the Spider Noir minifigure. I've just taken Miles Morales head and given it to this noir detective because that's really all it needs to be spider-man noir i am definitely questioning whether i should be picking up another one of these minifigures and adding this to my marvel lineup i might just do that if i can find these anywhere and it's a great addition to any marvel display and you might even see a mock with it coming soon now we're already at the fourth minifigure absolutely storming through these so we have another miniature display before we get onto the minifigure this display is actually taken from my new Lego Ideas exhibit for the museum. It's a contest that is being run on Lego Ideas. You've only got about a week to submit your ideas. So do head over if you want to check it out. I have a video coming out tomorrow and that will have all the links and information that you need as well as of course showing off my new design. But what I've done for the power lifter is actually taken the shorts. It's a hot summer's day and this person wants a refreshing beverage. I've also taken the arm tattoo for this minifigure because it is an awesome arm tattoo and as you can see they've picked up the Vita Rush but there are a bunch of other bottles, some other brands, perhaps store owned brands on the shelf and I really do like this short piece, it's one of the most versatile pieces because Lego have not had shorts for a while and even when they have they've been printed, these are dual moulded legs and go amazingly with any figure especially over the summer and if you remember my goat herder minifigure talking about it in the customs i did say it looked like a robin hood so here is a very simple custom robin hood 
I've taken the head and hair of one of my nurses from the Lego City, just wandering around my city, and I think that's the best one for the Robin Hood that I picture. Of course, got that bow and arrow combination that, of course, is needed for Robin Hood, and he's just taken from the rich, ready to give to the poor. So many of these customs are just simply swapping out the head, and they can be a different character, and it doesn't even have to be a named character like Robin Hood. A lot of the time you can just add a bunch of random characters to the city or something like with my Hawkeye CMF where I just switched out the hairpiece to a much younger hairpiece and now I have a younger Hawkeye. And speaking of Hawkeye, we have another Marvel addition to this series. This is the only other Marvel custom I've made because I try and keep it nice and varied. And we have a Mystique minifigure with... Deadpool and Wolverine coming out soon. Me and my fiance have taken to re-watching all of the X-Men movies. And no, this isn't a perfect Mystique minifigure. I don't know if Lego have actually given us a Mystique minifigure. I'm sure using the Avatar bodies would be a bit closer. I think it's probably the closest I can get with my pieces. And again, I do quite like this. And I'm very tempted to buy another Harpy and get the Padawan face piece from Star Wars with Bo-Katan's hair to add to my Marvel collection. Next up we have another scene and this is from Mario. We of course have the first Toad minifigure. I think this is actually quite a cool minifigure and again a lot of these customs I am definitely debating buying the minifigure or perhaps I'll just wait until the CMF is a bit cheaper on Bricklink before it retires and just pick up a few of these pieces myself. But as you can see I've built him a little Toad workshop in the background Based off the new Lego set, you can buy in stores with a brick-built Toad, but I really would like some more Mario figures, and this Toad minifigure is really cool. It uses Porky Pig's torso from the Looney Tunes CMF, and I've even given it the Goat Herder's backpack, just on the back there. It uses the top of the Mushroom Sprite, which is the minifigure this is a custom of, and I really do like that minifigure top piece. I'm sure... Many people will be painting it over in the inverse colours and it just looked great on a Toad minifigure. Next up is the easiest in the whole entire custom wave and that's saying something considering we started off with a head and hair switch but we have the pet groomer who I've simply given some plain legs, got rid of the dog fur and now she is a pet enthusiast. What I want to show off with this minifigure is just how easy some customs are to create the legs you can then give to another torso, perhaps the one that you took these grey legs off of, and then add them to a workshop and suddenly they're doing some arts and craft and they've got a little bib from the waist down to catch all their paper cutting. So though a lot of these customs are based on certain licenses and IPs, a lot of these are just going to be random parts that you can add to your city. You could even switch up the face and the hair piece and give these two different minifigures and just switch them up once you've got a few custom cmfs if you do like the mystery of opening random boxes you can create so many different minifigures just through the different combinations and with the sprinter here i have combined the body to the face of the fitness trainer there are a few more interesting combinations to come don't worry there's still a few licensed ips that i will be covering but as you can see, the sweat marks on the face make it look like they are also running the marathon. And you could even switch out the legs to a similar colour to the torso, which I'm afraid I do not have in my collection. And have a whole herd of these running. Perhaps even use the heads from each of these CMFs and create a whole marathon for your city. Now the last scene of this video is indeed from Doctor Who. You can see... We have Ruby Sunday there, who I said the dungarees of the train kid would represent quite well, of course. It does have that red scarf, which isn't perfect, but I think it does a pretty good job. And likewise, I think I've done a pretty decent job in recreating the TARDIS as minimalistically as I can. It does look pretty cool, and I guess it's just missing some text on the bricks. But that is indeed the brand new companion from the new series of Doctor Who. I would love to get another idea set. That is one of the only sets I regret not picking up, the LEGO Ideas TARDIS, because it is so cool. It comes with a great selection of minifigures from two different series of Doctor Who. And as I said, it's probably the only LEGO set I regret not picking up, but 
it was released during a period that I wasn't as into collecting Lego as I am now or was a few years before. And the final licensed minifigure before we get to a fun one at the end. As you can see, there's a little bit of pink underneath the helmet there. And that is because I've used the headpiece from the Space Alien we got a few seasons ago. The one with the purple space logo on the torso. And that has given the Triceratops a nice mouth under there, I guess. Quite a bluey, greeny tongue, but it does look really cool. And this is to represent a Fortnite skin. Fortnite is still huge. And of course, you can play the Lego mode on Fortnite, which is very fun. And I've definitely spent a few hours on. But it would be great to see some Fortnite minifigures. There are rumours that we're going to get a few playsets in the works. And hopefully these will be based around Lego Fortnite rather than the actual video game. As realistically it's just a landscape with a few figures and guns. So unless we get a few buildings from Fortnite which again are in Lego Fortnite. Hopefully it's all based on Lego Fortnite and the different buildings you can create yourself. And perhaps some pre-made ones as an actual lego set now rounding off this video we have the bat lord or should i say the vampire lord because being a bat lord of course must mean there is some vampire characteristics to the headpiece if not they are a vampire and bat lord is just the title they like to go to but i've added this to the torso from the alien conquest that we stole the head from for the very first minifigure tying it all back around to that first minifigure and actually using Kylo's hair because I think that's the best to represent some sort of vampire character. They always have some nice long black hair and I think it does look really cool. Of course you can use either side of the face. I've gone with the more grey eyeshadow than the red but it's a great vampire minifigure and if you did want a vampire for a custom I mean there are so many fantasy movies that now have some sort of vampires in them. You can definitely Add this to the torso and legs that make it look like the character, give it a groovy hairpiece and suddenly you've got your very own Lego vampire. And now as you can see on your screen we have a whole wave of custom CMFs which do look really cool and I'm especially happy with the four different displays that I've included for these minifigures. Let me know what your favourite custom out of these 12 is down below and if you're planning on recreating any for yourself with the new lego series 25 cmf be sure to check out all my other videos and as always may the bricks be with you